Anubhav Sinha's new OTT series called IC814 has grabbed a lot of attention, but not for all the reasons that he would want it to. It has also now been mired in controversy. Essentially, the series is about, it recaptures that unfortunate hijack which took place in which there was one casualty when a flight was coming from Kathmandu to the national capital. It was hijacked and made to stand and wait in Kandahar. The then government, with, led by Atal Bihari Vajpayee, had to negotiate and in exchange we had to give up certain dreaded terrorists, for example, Masood Azhar. And this is the price which India had to pay to save and protect its citizens. Now, the series essentially captures those over five to six days, at least a week, of the gripping negotiations, renegotiations, and all the drama which took place over here in India, in Kandahar, in Dubai, Pakistan as well. Now, why is it that this series has been captured in so much of controversy? Well, primarily for two reasons. One, it is pointed out that uh, you know it is unnecessarily sympathetic as far as some of those terrorists are concerned because they are painted in a more human light. One of them is heard, in fact, telling an air hostess that take care of yourself and even playing on Dakshri with some of the passengers while they were waiting for the negotiations to be completed. That is what the objection is because these are lethal, deadly people and why are you painting them as being human? But the larger controversy which has taken place on the social media platforms is regarding the names of some of the terrorists, Shankar and Bola. Now over here, uh, what the criticism is that Anubhav Sinha tried to rename the terrorists and give them a Hindu name whereas they were very clearly Muslims. But if you look at the MEA notification which came out in 2000, it very clearly mentions that there were four to five of these hijackers. They were named like Burger, Doctor, Shankar, Bola. So this was a name which was code name which was given by themselves. And that is what those who are supporting the series are saying that this was an acknowledgement which was made by the MEA then, by the government. So why is a needless controversy being stoked? In fact, Omar Abdullah, one of the first politicians to speak out, has also echoed these thoughts where he said that when no one seemed to be having a problem with what he calls the incorrect portrayal of Kashmir, the plight of the Kashmiri pundits, in the movie Kashmir Files of uh, Vivek Agnihotri, why is it there's so much of outrage over this? Why are these kind of double standards taking taking place. As of now, the government doesn't really want to step in because at the end of the day, these are this is a work by a private individual. But remember, there has been a lot of controversy and a demand that OTT also must be uh, sensitized. They, they also should be censorship. There should be certain amount of control over the kind of films or series which goes out and they should be realistic but for now it seems to be based on facts because Shankar and Bola were indeed the code names which were given to two of those hijackers but controversy unlikely to die anytime soon because on the social media we are already seeing a lot of outrage over this issue.